In this video, I'll walk you through the MillerTech Bluetooth application for their new Sport Series batteries. To download the MillerTech Bluetooth application, open up the Google Play Store or Apple App Store on your phone or tablet. In the search bar, type in MillerTech, all one word, and it should be the only one that comes up. Look for the MillerTech logo, and it may say Lester Miller underneath it as the publisher. Click on the Install button, and the application will download and install itself on your device. Then click on Open, and the MillerTech app will launch itself. You'll see a few prompts that appear and ask you permission to use the GPS on your device and also to determine the position of nearby devices. You need to allow this so that the Bluetooth radio can determine how close the battery is, which will help you later on. The first screen that comes up is the Bluetooth screen that displays all of the nearby devices that are detected. You may have devices that show up here that are not batteries at all, or it may display batteries from other brands. If you have trouble determining which battery is which, I'll go over that later in the video. To connect to a MillerTech battery, click on the button on the right that says Connectable. After a moment, it will say Connected if a successful connection is complete. Once you've successfully connected to a battery, you can click on the button in the middle on the bottom that says Dashboard. The app will then display some information about that battery in real time. In addition to basic information like the percent capacity remaining, voltage, amps in or out, and charge time remaining, the app can also tell you the internal temperature of the battery, which may be critical for some users that want to use their battery in exceptionally hot or cold weather. It also shows you the number of charge and discharge cycles the battery has been put through, as well as any error messages detected by the BMS. More on that later. Some users may purchase multiple MillerTech batteries, such as fishermen using them for bass boat trolling motors. In that case, you'll want to identify which battery is which in the app. This is where the distances will matter. Simply space each battery at least 10 meters apart before you open the MillerTech app. Then you'll be able to tell which one is which based on the distance reading on the Bluetooth page. Once you've identified the batteries, you can then rename them. To do this, simply connect to each battery one by one, go to the dashboard page, and then click on the label at the top next to the pencil icon. A dialog box will appear where you can type in a new name. Click confirm and the name will be saved. Repeat the process for each battery. Then it might be a good idea to put a physical label or sticker on each battery that corresponds with the name you gave each one in the app. Again, for those users who have multiple batteries, it's possible to connect to multiple batteries at once and display their information. Just click Connectable on the right next to multiple batteries and then go to the dashboard screen. You can then see the key information for each battery at a glance and also highlight one battery at a time to access more detailed information at the top. Simply click from one battery to another to shift focus from one to another. But you can see most of the information all on one screen for your entire battery bank. The final tab at the bottom is About. If you click on that, it will show you some company information for MillerTech, including contact information for customer support. You'll also see a History button that you can click on and see a couple graphs that show some important information over time. This can be helpful for users monitoring battery performance or trying to diagnose issues. The final thing to mention is about the error messages at the bottom of the dashboard screen. This section will show you the total number of times that the battery management system has encountered that error. It cannot be reset to zero. Please note that just because the BMS displays an error doesn't mean anything is wrong necessarily. Sometimes it will show an overvoltage or other message during the charging process due to normal circumstances. You should only worry about these error messages if your battery shuts itself off or you have some other performance problem with the battery. That wraps up the basic walkthrough of the MillerTech Bluetooth app. Thanks for watching, and if you found it helpful, please leave a like and a comment below.